Hi everyone, today I'm going to be discussing the very best settings for the Pocket 3 to get the highest quality video footage. And who wouldn't want to? Let's get straight into it. Now the smart people at DJI decided to set the factory settings of the Pocket 3 to cater for the needs of the masses and those who just want to grab the camera and go because it's mainly, I would say, a kind of more of a vlogging camera. But if you want to get the very highest quality out of the Pocket 3, then you're going to need to change some of the settings. All right, let's first change the resolution. So what we need to do is we need to swipe up from the bottom and then pick the 4K resolution. And then swipe to the right to access the Pro settings. Now click on where it says Color and then change this to say D-Log M10 bit. Now this is going to give you the highest range of colors, in fact, actually billions of colors. If you select this option, then you might then look back at the screen and think, hang on, wait a minute, why is it all washed out? What's going on here? Now I thought you said billions of colors, why does it look like a grayscale? And that's because D-Log itself has a very flat color range when displayed on the screen. But when it's actually records, it's going to record a much larger color range on the file itself. Now to bring back the colors, you're gonna to have to go through what's known as color grading of the footage. But this is quite an advanced topic, so I would suggest you only record in D-Log M if you know what that means and you know how to do color grading. And also you know what you're doing. If you don't then and don't wanna go through the process, then I suggest you just stick with the normal color profile to keep things simple. Now you also might want to change the noise reduction settings. So to do that, you click on the icon on the bottom right where it says image adjustment and then just experiment with the noise reduction setting. So this controls how much the Pocket 3 applies its noise reduction algorithm. You might want to control this yourself in software when you're doing the video editing. So set it to a negative numbers to reduce the strength of the noise reduction or you can raise it if you want the Pocket 3 to handle it itself. Now this is going to require a little bit of experimentation on your side to find out which one you like the best. Some people like less noise reduction, some people like more. It's really just down to personal taste. Now the same is also true of the sharpness setting on the left hand side. Now the higher the setting, the sharper and the more digital looking the footage. So some people like that, including my wife, in her video footage, but other people perhaps prefer a more film-like look with less sharpness. But again, I'm not going to tell you which one to use as it's down to your personal preference. Now, once you have set up your settings, let me tell you a new little feature on the Pocket 3, and that is to set up a custom profile. Once you set everything up the way you like it, you then swipe down from the top, click on the little person icon on the top left, then choose to save in one of the custom preset slots. If you then change any settings or you want to record them later, on the main screen, what you need to do is just click on the icon on the bottom left and then swipe to the left and you should then see your custom presets listed. You then just click on it and then that's going to retrieve the settings. Well, actually, that's it. There are the settings I would use to ensure the Pocket 3 records at the highest quality video footage. So I hope this video is going to be used to someone out there. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on the Pocket 3 and other gadgets and cameras. Until then guys, take care and I shall see you soon.